So I just want to share um, a thought, even though this sicha is a self-explanatory fabrengen. So the chilek tezayin va'eder sicha he. Fantastic. I think we need to translate it, or could translate it as follows. When we are bachrim, or we're in seminary, we do everything right. Did you notice that there are dorm counselors, there are vekas, there are mashkichim, to ensure compliance in action? Why? Because there is an understanding that to train oneself to live like a from a yid is not normal and not natural. You go to a university campus and you ask, where is a vecca? And they'll look at you as if you're crazy. If you're not here to learn, get out of here. People who work don't have veccas. Buy yourself an alarm clock. Now, even though the years that we spend in yeshiva are sometimes the highest level of compliance, but we still have much more growth emotionally and intellectually to integrate Yiddishkeit into our lives, that that should be really what we want. And then you have the Rabbi Akivos who realize because they come from outside the system that it is possible that you can be completely disconnected as well. And therefore, the work that one has to do to truly integrate Yiddishkeit into the life is, is, is so much deeper. And the challenge to us really is, can we identify an area of our life, whether it's midas, whether it's something else, that we have been consistently failing at, make it bother us, and then go for the change and keep growing. Because the fundamental teaching of Hasidus that Mitzrayim and the struggle of an Bainani is an ongoing struggle that is 24-7, but in a more global sense, you can cut time into years, into decades. If you're not consciously struggling with your Nefesh Bahamas, it means there's no war, and it means that we've lost. Now, it doesn't have to be a, a binary choice of sinning and not sinning. It's a matter of what's bothering you. Just write down quickly three things. What's bothering you off the top of your head? If you're bothered by the situations that are going on that others control and others do, you may be lacking in your spiritual development. Now, if you want to make the case that you have to be righteously angry, go for it. But Tanya suggests that unless you're on the level of a tzaddik, your anger is usually not righteousness. Have a wonderful week.